Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming Trials. And today we're going to start a brand new Minecraft world, a let's play in a normal survival world. Uh, the world name is just going to be let's play, it's going to be survival, obviously. Um, and then it's going to be on hard difficulty. We're going to start with a map and a bonus chest to make things life a little bit simpler. Um, infinite world seed is going to be gaming trials, which I don't know what's going to come out of that. Um, show coordinates and no fire spreads. Everything else is just pretty much standard. So let's turn multiplayer off and create world. I have no idea what to expect from this. Loading up this world for the first time. I hope we spawn kinda close to a village because I'd like to not move too far from spawn at the start of the series. Um, I suppose the worst place to spawn, I don't think I've ever actually spawned in a desert before. Maybe directly next to one, but I think you always spawn somewhere where there's trees around, and there's no trees in a in a desert, and they appear to be a spruce forest right next to some flowers. I'm in a tree. Let's see what we got in the bonus chest. A wooden pickaxe, a wooden axe, some mushrooms, pumpkin seeds, some bread. Um, four jungle saplings. That's actually really nice. No. Oh my goodness. I actually spawned right next to a village. And now people are gonna think that this is not like legit. Like I just didn't come and check this out beforehand. I had no idea that this was like this. Um, I guess let's see what we got. Cause we got we got pumpkins, we had pumpkin scenes of the thing in the chest that we had. Um like there's wheat and potatoes. There's a lectern here, which means there should be a librarian here somewhere. A bunch of bookshelves that we can just take later for, um, whoa. Just for some enchantment purposes. bushes okay I was wondering like why aren't they hurting me um I'm gonna remove the berry bushes from the area because villagers have a very easy time killing themselves to begin with so I don't think Having a bunch of berry bushes is good. There's two doors to this house. I'm gonna take this bed, so I'm sorry for whoever's bed that is. I may as well open this map and see where we are. We're kind of in the center of this map. Huh? You're, what are you? A weapon smith? Huh. Could be cool. Aha. He has stuff. Put on some boots. You a different one? I don't think you're wait. No, you're you're completely the same, I think. Yeah, you're exactly the same, except their sword enchantments will uh, probably be different. You're a farmer. Wheat for an emerald. 
Okay, well, I'll be back. What are you? You're a cartographer? Okay. Another weaponsmith. Another farmer for wheat. Oh. Oh, wait. You're the cartographer I just talked to, I think. Mm, bread and paper. It's nice to find, uh, to find some food. There's a bunch of weaponsmiths in this village. Did I go in that house over there? I think that was the librarian's house. Okay. Just a bunch of stuff in this chest. Some iron nuggets. There's some lava nearby because I can hear it. Huh. Farmer, what do you offer? Carrots for emeralds, I see. I don't think I've been into this house. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing of value to me. Okay. Wait. It's got stuff in a basement? It's got a ba- wait. This other one- Oh, this other one does have a basement in it. What are these? Spruce saplings? I think I've been pretty much to the entirety of this village. It looked like this was the start of like some sort of structure, but then it just didn't spawn in completely. I'm starting right next to a village that is a great find. Um, one, it saves us a bunch of materials, because, you know, I don't have to get a bed. And what is there? I think these are roots. Root seeds? Yeah, that's cool. Um, I want to take all the crops, because that's going to be our primary way of getting emeralds in this world is by selling crops. So, we wanna make sure that we have enough crops to be able to trade, so, I don't know how much sort of farming I'm gonna do on camera, but I, I, I do need to do a little bit. I'm, I'm going to need to do a lot of farming in order to actually um, buy everything we need because everything you need can honestly just be bought from villagers because armorers can give I, I believe they can give every type of iron or every type of diamond armor once um, once they, the village and pillage update came out that uh, updated the villagers UI and everything and their trades so armor, armorers no longer only give uh, diamond chest plates. Moving east right now. I think over here would honestly be not that bad of a place to just set up shop. Because we're right next to a flower biome as well. Um, so that's a bunch of dyes that we can get. So that's a good resource to have. This is actually not that bad of a seed. What's the seed? A uh, number. 
this. Negative one one eight seven one oh one three nine four. Now obviously I haven't been under that's a jungle in the distance. I see a that's a jungle tree. That can't be anything else but a jungle tree. Uh, so let's go over there for a second. That's going to be probably out of map range. I'm going to to figure out whether or not it's out of map range right now, but um bamboo is helpful because that can be used as a fuel source. It is about to turn into nighttime. I didn't need to kill that sheep. Mainly because I actually already have a bed. Because I raided that village. Which is another reason I really wanted to find a village, like, kind of early. Is because they generally have, well, now they have to have beds in them. Um, because that's how you determine the number of villagers in a village. <laughs> how many beds there are. And my inventory is actually completely filled. Oh, they died. How unfortunate. You know, while we're in here, pick up a little bit of bamboo. I don't really need to pick up that many. Um, maybe I'll cut down one more stock, but because bamboo is pretty, I don't want to say easy to farm, but just because of the way bamboo is, um, you're able to just kind of get a bunch of it from like even just one singular bit. So even if you did only manage to get one, uh, that would be fine. And we're still on the map. So some of this jungle is on the map. Some of it isn't. That's okay. Um, we have some jungle wood. So. We'll grab some coke. Oh, I can't grab cocoa beans. Okay, I don't need this mushroom. We'll drop the mushrooms in uh, favor of some cocoa beans uh, for later. And there's one other thing in a jungle that you want to find when you first find a jungle, and that's gonna be watermelons. And once we have watermelons, we essentially, I think we'll have, um, and here we go. Here's all the watermelons we're ever going to need. And I can just get rid of this one carved pumpkin. Um, because, not going to be as important. Um, if I, if you want to carve a pumpkin, all you have to do is shear the pumpkin. Use shears on it. I and mean, now we have a stack of melons, which is essentially a stack of melon seeds. Um, but having a jungle this close to spawn is actually kind of nice. So if I ever need an abundance of... How do I tame these? I think I need um, wheat seeds to tame them. 
uh, to tame birds. So we'll come back and get parrots later. Um. Yeah, having this jungle so close to spawn is really nice. If we ever need an abundance of jungle wood for a build, you know, we don't have to run a couple thousand blocks. You know, if, if you had to run really, really far away to get to a jungle, um, I would recommend bringing, like, uh, probably somewhere along the lines of, like, 30 to 40 saplings back so you could plant a bunch of jungle trees this goes down quite a bit I see iron and coal but I don't see anything of greater value but I think for the moment <sighs> Oh, it's a witch's hut. Yeah, honestly, though, while we're while we're just kind of here, we can create an iron sword, and we can create a bucket. Mm. I get rid of this poisonous potato and what we could do is we can milk this cow and we could potentially fight this witch Don't know what she dropped besides these glass bottles. Don't think she dropped anything too useful. However, she did drop glass bottles, so that means that there. Is there anything in here? Ah, yes. Good old potions of poison. I don't really need those right now. Just gonna leave them there. Oh look, it's a it's a witch's cat. Here. I have one piece of salmon. I have, I have one piece of salmon. Can you can you stop? Can you stop running or there you go. Follow me. So now we own a cat. Not necessarily the coolest oh. find in the world, but hey. I need, oh. I will need leather, a little bit of leather. Oh. I don't know if I actually have. I don't think I do. But.
I think this spot is as good as any to start building a house. But first... Right, so let's place... Let's put our chest down and let's put stuff in the chest. Okay? Because we, we don't have nearly enough space to actually keep stuff on me at the moment. Um, as far as the bamboo is concerned, let's just... Let's just leave that. that yeah. They just want to sit on all of your chests. That's all cats want to do. Um, we need to get better tools. So you sit there, and I'm going to go get some cobblestone. These de these drowns don't have tridents, so they're they're not gonna be too bad to kill. I'm um, getting rotten flesh isn't a bad idea because a cleric I think will trade rotten flesh for emeralds. Granted, you'll need actually a bunch of it, but you'll be able to get it. It's still not nighttime. I'm not too thrilled about staying out at night, at least not right now. Maybe once I have like at least like a full set of iron armor. Um then maybe I'll be like, oh yeah, I can stay outside. It won't be too bad. Oh, that must be andesite then. I thought that was gravel. Well, you know, but that's gravel. That couldn't have been andesite. Oh well. use this entire wooden pickaxe until it breaks because I am not going to have a super super large storage issue one of the things that we're definitely going to have to do is build a storage system that will allow me to put items into a chest and then Items will flow into properly organized chests. So that way I don't have to spend five ages looking through some kind of material, some just, just random blocks. Now, of course, when I say we're going to build a storage system, this is obviously going to be uh, a lot farther down the line. I'm going to try, really, really try, once I get a couple of chests and don't just have, like, this single chest or single double chest storage system um, for all the beginning items that we're getting. I'm going to try to keep... 
I don't know what I need to do. While I still have just wheat seeds, I need to... I need to bring some chickens over to this hole. Push them in. And now we have the start to an egg farm, which we can use for making a bunch of eggs and chickens. Which... Could be, I guess we could use them for cakes, but that's practically about it. My crafting table in here. I don't actually have a crafting table. Interesting. Furnace right here. Cook some beef, let it on to cool, and now we can make we can make a I'm gonna make an iron shovel and stone pickaxe. rest of the stuff back in here for now. And now we have some leveling to do. Um, not necessarily a too entertaining, but It does need to get done, landscaping wise. Plus this way, now that we're getting dirt, I guess I could build myself a dirt hut. Very classic. Stereotypical, you know, first Minecraft house is a dirt hut. And I think that that's fine. We can ha we can live in a dirt hut for now, but we have to expand and do better things. But for now, we'll just rock the, uh, the good old dirt hut and I want to get started on making a mine shaft and making some farms so that way we have access food and have a way of trading for emeralds because as we've seen in the village carrots and wheat can be traded for emeralds when we breed villagers and get more farmers and, and such um, we'll actually be able to get probably beetroot and carrot trades for emeralds It's just funny that I built these here because now I'm going to have to take them down. I 
I didn't think about where I was actually putting these a bamboo at relative to where I wanted to actually make my house, so that's why I'm taking them down, is because I don't necessarily want them to be here. It'll probably be somewhere nearby. And in fact... Good night. So I'm just going to be living in like a, a, a standard, what, what one would call a dirt hut. It'll be more like a dirt house. So I guess I should go over some of the things that I potentially want to do with this series. And uh, maybe not so obvious to others, but obvious to me, I'm going to be killing the Ender Dragon and killing the Wither and Oh right, I can just turn bamboo straight into sticks, but it takes two bamboo to make one stick. Very inefficient. Um very inefficient. Oh, it is dark outside. Anyway. Yeah. The dirt home is now nice and lit up. Now my roof should also be monster proof. And there we go. Dirt hunt established. Now let's go to setting. I 
these things to get a nice picture of those. Probably have that as my as my thumbnail. Really quick. Yeah, it's some of these things on the left and the right. Now it looks a little better. Oop. And now that I've kind of held this position for long enough, now I don't even need to hide anything anymore. I can have all my stuff back. Let's take this axe and let's go and shut down probably not even this entire tree. And this axe will probably break. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi. That is, that is a mine shaft down there, by the way. They're very scary. Yeah, that is an abandoned mine shaft. This world, it just keeps on giving. Okay, then. That's really close to where we spawned. No one's going to think that this seed is legitimate. Not a single person. It is too, too fantastic. Like, I mean, in terms of just some, some things that just don't generally occur too often, I never have a jungle biome well within my spawning map to where some of the jungle is actually in my spawning map. That just never happens. Um, let's see. We started in about the center of the map, which is fine. And in the bottom right corner, there is a jungle. And in just the right middle side of the map, there is a an abandoned mine shaft that's in a ravine that also happens to be directly next to my house. Well, that's cool. Anyway, so you have 10 beetroot seeds, 22 of those. We have a bunch of these, and a bunch of these. May as well plant these. This jungle tree hopefully is not like a disappointment of a jungle tree that doesn't grow that big. But with it planted like this, it should still grow to be a big tree. Could you imagine if you planted saplings like that? For a jungle tree, but only one of the saplings grew. And it just didn't grow into a big tree. So you essentially had to leave it up to random chance. That would be problematic. That would be pretty problematic. All right, ink sacks. That's nice. 
Nice that we have those. But now we need to get a piece of leather from a cow. Because we actually already have paper. Actually, we have a book. So that just means we have books. So that just means we need feathers. Which I don't think we actually have any because I don't think we've actually killed any chickens. So I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to die for the cause. This is not my Skyblock series, so I don't need to um, kill a cow to get leather, especially since we've already found a village. I'm not too worried about thunderstorms either, because they're not going to do too much. I am going to break all of the wheat grass around in the area kind of make things look a little nicer and then also to be able to plant more wheat seeds because I'll I'll be getting wheat seeds uh, from all this wheat grass I actually remember this is fun story time with with me right now I started up a world with a seed on it I don't remember I don't know what, what the seed was and it probably wouldn't spawn me if I went and I got the seed. Because this was back on... On the... Might have been on the 360. Or no, I think it was still on the Xbox One. But... I spawned in this Acacia field. And... Just everywhere as far as the eye could see. It was just wheat grass. Like, wheatgrass literally everywhere. And when I say literally everywhere, I mean... Imagine if this full field was, like, practically just wheatgrass. And nothing else. And... Anyway... I... Was... I, I was... I already... Re I had already established that... I was a farmer um, in this game because I'll admit it I, I like to farm I like to till fields I like to plant carrots and wheat and all that and that's kind of why I fill my videos with that people some people don't like to do that that's why they like to have the automated farms but it's funny because now automatic farms because of the village and pillage update are kind of not not necessarily useless but they are slow to such a degree that they may they may as well be obsolete to compared to uh, manual farming if you have a large enough field um but anyways I cleared out a lot of the wheat grass. When I say a lot, I probably mean like a little bit over 75%, maybe 80%, a little over that. And... It won't walk outside. It actually knows. That's creepy. Um, anyway. I planted a farm. This was to start. This farm got, eventually it got like four times larger than it was. And it had been the largest farm that I created it at the time. Although now I've created farms a, a lot larger than the one that I made at that time. <clears throat> ah, need to drink some water there. 
my voice was trying to kill me. Um, anyways. So, I, I did this, I planted all the seeds, and I had a farm that was 49 stacks to start. And at the time, I hadn't been a religious practicer of super efficient land space farming. So, um, this actually took up a lot more space than 49 stacks would actually take me, uh, now. Um, they were in bunches of 8x8, eight eight, and they were all separated by at least one line of dirt and a line of water, uh, going in, uh, different directions, of course. So... Uh, the water would be going this direction, and then separating the 8x8s eight in, in this direction would be uh, the dirt. Anyway. That's just, like, a neat... Uh, well, it's not necessarily too neat, but it's just a story that I have of kind of like... You know, I farm a lot. And, you know, I'm farming now, and this is this this story. It's just kind of neat to me because I had never actually spawned in a world that had so much wheat grass. At like it's it's spawn, and I'll probably never find it because it spanned on for like a couple couple hundred blocks, probably in each direction. And there was just so much wheat grass. Was really, I could have gotten more um, wheat seeds if I'm going to be entirely honest, but you can only punch wheat grass for so long until your uh, your mind starts to go. And well, and quite honestly, you start to uh, uh, lose your mind because. You don't actually want to be punching wheatgrass. Because I had been punching it and breaking wheatgrass con continuously uh, for about an hour and a half. So. There's not much to really say about that other than, yeah, I kind of learned my lesson not to do that really that's about it um, we have a bucket so our jungle tree grew Nice. Don't know how much jungle wood's in that tree, but that's okay. I need this. We're gonna be creating sticks anyways. So we're going to make some stone hoes. Eventually we will make a, a diamond hoe, even though it is generally looked like a pawn. It's like, don't make a diamond hoe. I don't follow that rule, like, at all. Ever. Just has never dawned on me to not have one, considering how much farming I do. And considering the resources that I get out of farming, uh, getting a diamond hoe is actually kind of nice. You know, people generally say don't, don't make a diamond hoe, um, which is uh, still ridiculous, uh, in my opinion. 
I mean, you can make whatever you want to make. Just put this sign here for now. Really no reason. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One across this way. Two across. Three across. Four across. One across. Two across. Three across. And four across. This is the most efficient way of farming. You can get one for one block of water, you can make 80 crops. There's really no way that you can make this any better. Let's go back to my house and get some dirt and we'll make a shovel uh, so we can clear out a little bit of space. Shovel. reason why I wanted the dirt is so that way I could patch this up with a little bit of dirt and the shovel is a little bit more obvious um, I just don't want as much as much stuff covering or it getting so close because then if an animal walks down, they're gonna walk down, maybe not trample crops, but then maybe start jumping on my crops. So that's why I do that. I didn't drop anything off at my at my chest, which would probably have been a good idea, considering I need to probably store some things. Pumpkins, I have melons, I have potatoes and carrots and berries and bamboo and sugarcane. We have everything we need to start planting. I'm going to plant everything and then probably I'm going to stop. And then I'll pick this up at, an at another time. Sun is starting to set. One, two, three, four, five. this like this 
be honest, I can just extend it one more outwards and that'll be fine. Off camera, I'm not really going to do anything that was that's going to progress me. Sort of like throughout the. I'm not going to build something off camera or anything like that. Um, I might farm off camera, maybe expand the length of my farm, do some uh, clearing out. I'm probably going to take. Uh, just like clear a lot of this out so that way I have more room to plant crops and things like that so planting potatoes and carrots over here going to stick the bamboo pretty much right next to all the crops Make a one by one with eight around it there. And then make another one by one with eight around it here. Melon seeds right there, and the pumpkin seeds right here. And plant the berry bushes there. Yeah, this will be, this will be nice. This is a nice little neat uh, farm setup that we have. Um, before the next episode, I'll write down almost all of our goals in the book and quill. Um, but that'll be it for me for now. I've been Gaming Trials, and I hope you have enjoyed this first episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. Catch you all later. Peace out.